My name is Christopher Erdman, and uh, our project is called Wolbach UX. At the uh, Center for Astrophysics, I, I, had, I went around and I started just meeting people, the thing that you, you do the most when you, when you start in a new place. And in one of my encounters, I saw um, a Microsoft Surface table sitting in a lonely cubicle not being used. And I said, let's see what, how people react to this and let's bring it into the library. And so I brought it in, I loaded as many applications as I could find onto it and then I invited people to come down and just look at it. And, and people started coming up with ideas and, uh, and I said, I think we're onto something. <laughs> I think what makes the Surface so conducive to working with digital objects is that you can actually collaborate. You can sit down with another person at the table and you can interact with them. Our special collections is closed often. People don't know what's in that in, in our special collections room. How can we create greater access to, to that? Um, and meanwhile, still uh, preserve those materials. They're, they're very fragile. We actually drew some drawings of a typical user that we imagined, you know, like just someone coming to the library and seeing that there was a table nearby, a surface table with, um, that invited them. And then a researcher could sit down and, and, uh, and, and, and actually view the materials maybe that they wanted to view in the special collections. And, and then, you know, do all sorts of things like zoom in and out, things they couldn't do with the actual material, and then take uh, snapshots and annotate and, and send them to themselves or save um, to a workspace for later, for later work. Well, this could function as a current awareness tool. Our uh, researchers could feed information into this um, for the, the casual um, user that's passing through the library. They could, you know, could discover what's going on in our school uh, while they're waiting to, to speak to another researcher or just for exploration purposes. They could just use the tool to figure, to find out what maybe there are other uh, people working on things that they would be interested in. Um, so you, you're, you're not only um, taking care of the, the, the digital world and people that are not able to come to the library, but people that, that are visiting the library can access this information and discover it in, in ways that they probably never knew were, were possible. I think this interactive technology really speaks to people. People of all ages seem to gravitate, gravitate towards uh, interactive technologies. And um, it, this is the way you, you see libraries right now. They're still very quiet places and, uh, and, and, uh, and very static. And this, I think this makes, turns the library into a lively, engaging place. Mm -hmm.